Today we're going to be looking at the book Literary Yarns by Cindy Wang. I purchased this book out of pocket and I've had it sitting on my shelf for quite a while, but today I finally decided to take it out, give it some love, and make a couple characters from this book. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the book, all the patterns that are included, and a couple completed projects. The back of the book shows us that there are 22 patterns that are included, and it looks like this retails for $14.99 in the U.S., $16.99 in Canada, and I think I paid a few dollars less on Amazon when I purchased this, but it's been a while and it's just been sitting on my shelf, so I can't really recall what I paid for it, but it never hurts to check Amazon just to see if there's a little bit cheaper price. And it looks like this is published by Quirk Books at quirkbooks.com. So let's take a look at the inside of the book and what all the patterns are that are included. So here when we open up the book, we get a really good look at all of the characters we're going to be able to complete in this. And we'll go through all of the characters um, as we flip through the book. But there is 22 of them, and it's quite a diverse uh, range of characters that you can create. Also at the beginning of the book, we have where it shows abbreviations, uh, how to make the magic ring, um, more of different stitches that you're going to come across when you're making things. It starts off with the basic body that they have right here in the front, and a lot of times it'll send you back to page 11 to uh, refer to this in order to make a lot of the different projects. But it does a good job going through different uh, stitches and how to do things and one nice thing I like is how you can just leave this open and it lays flat really well I didn't have any problems with the pages popping up and flipping on me so once you got the book open just kind of put a little pressure and the next thing you know it's just laying really flat which is something I really appreciate even though it doesn't have the spiral bound it still does a good job of staying open while you're trying to work through the patterns so let's take a look at all the patterns. So we're going to start off with Elizabeth Bennett, and that's from Pride and Prejudice. We have Dorothy, the Cowardly Lion, Scarecrow, and the Tin Woodsman. And along with that, it does show you how to make the basket and Toto as well. The White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Sherlock Holmes from The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Ebenezer Scrooge from A Christmas Carol. Jay Gatsby and Daisy Buchanan from The Great Gatsby, Hester Prynne, The Scarlet Letter, Quasimodo and Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Captain Ahab and Moby Dick from Moby Dick, Anne Shirley from Anne of Green Gables, Napoleon from Animal Farm, Prince Hamlet from the Tragedy of Hamlet, Julius Caesar from the Tragedy of Julius Caesar, Frankenstein's Monster from Shelley's Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde from The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and lastly Huckleberry Finn from The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Next I want to let you know what I noticed when I was going through the book. As far as the, um, the two patterns I worked through, I did not have any problems with those. They both worked up really well. The skill levels for all of the projects are the same. They don't have anything listed as easy, medium, or hard. Everything is just the same. And in fact, a lot of the projects use the same uh, body or head in order to complete the patterns. So if you can do one, it seems that you can do any of these. I found with the two patterns that I finished that the projects were pretty quick and easy to complete and that the characters are very easy to identify. So if you wanted to give any of these characters along with the book as a gift, um, there would be no doubt that the character is, is the one that goes with it. So I think it would make a really fun way to give a, the gift of a book, um, especially like with the White Rabbit along with Alice in Wonderland. You know, it just really makes the book a little more special when you have one of the characters. The two characters I created are Hester Prynne from A Scarlet Letter 
and then Elizabeth Bennett from Pride and Prejudice. And that was two books I really enjoyed. The only thing I wish I had done was picked at least one different character because again, with the skill level being the same and using the same uh, head and body style, I pretty much created the same character. But I do like the little additional details so you can really tell them apart. And with Elizabeth, we have a little bun with a little flower and some ribbon going around. And I thought she was really cute. And then another thing I liked was with Hester. You got the little A on her dress and the little collar that goes around. And then you just cut out some felt and just put that over her hair. And she's got a little bun as well. So I do wish I would have picked another character instead of one of these two in order to be able to show more of what the patterns are like. And they're not very big. Now I did use a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook to make these, but I think they turned out really cute. Um, there's not a whole lot to them, but there is enough that makes them kind of unique and, and kind of special with the way they look. As far as completing all of the projects, um, it seems like it would be really easy to do. Only a couple of the patterns had some extras that you see in the picture that might be a little hard to get, uh, like the little watch and this you could swap out for any little bead or anything. Um, the other thing I thought, uh, I guess there's these drink things or like little toothpicks things that you can get. I've seen them before, but I can't remember where on earth you would get these in order to give it that same look. But I think these are like a fancy form of toothpicks or you put them in a drink to hold like an olive in place. I cannot remember where you get these things, but I've seen them before. But that might be something that's kind of hard to stumble across if you're looking to get that exact look. But other than that, I'm really not seeing anything. Oh, wait. Cocktail sword picks. Okay, so I'm sure if you went into um, a place that sells alcohol, you might be able to find something like this or ask and they'd be able to get you, get you to them. So that would be something. But the, otherwise, everything else seems really easy to get a hold of and uh, put one of these little guys together. For anything else with the book, there's only a, one thing I can say is I wish there was a few more characters. I would love to have had Alice from Alice in Wonderland, uh, the ghosts in A Christmas Carol, and maybe the witches or wizard from Wizard of Oz. And I was going to say Mr. Darcy, but I did stumble across when I was kind of flipping through. Um, I found this after I kind of wrote my list, but right here they have a variation to make Mr. Darcy for your Lizzie Bennet. Um, it kind of gives you a way to make that happen. So I don't know if I go through this book a little more thoroughly um, that I can find um, some other little hidden patterns in here, which just made me love this book more, um, which I already do, but I was just so excited when I kind of stumbled across that. So going through the book thoroughly, you may find other little hidden ways to make more characters. Um, I can say I'm hoping that there will be a second book. Uh, just characters I'd love to see in that book would be Dracula, Romeo and Juliet, maybe Scarlett O'Hara and Rhett Butler. Uh, the characters from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, or even um, all the girls from L Little Women. Uh, there's so much more that can be done with these books, and, and I really hope more do come out because I thought they were really fun. And again, what a great way to gift along with a book is to give them one of the characters. Uh, so if another book came out, what characters would you like to see in it? Because I would be... <laughs> I, I think uh, Scarlett O'Hara and Rhett Butler would just absolutely be my favorites but um, I'd love to hear what you what you would like to see in one of these books. I hope you really like the uh, kind of the review going through it. This is definitely one that I'm so glad I bought. I'm just sorry I didn't get to it sooner and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it lets you know if it's a book that you'd like to pick up for yourself. Thank you so much for just going through the book with me and I hope you have a great day.